A little background. This project has been more than a year in the planning and five months in rehearsal. What you're seeing tonight is the product of 13 hour and a half rehearsals, plus three rehearsals this week. Now, to anybody who knows theater, that's not a lot of rehearsal time. However, it was time well spent to prepare our creative talents to entertain you, our audience. By the way, this is not a drama. We do invite you to laugh, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce our pit ensemble and Emily Crick, our music director for The Perfect Show. an awful performance. That was terrible. We could do a much better show. You think so? Uh, we could uh, put on our own show. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we need something inspiring. Yeah, yeah, inspiring. Something beautiful and grand. Yeah, yeah, grand. We should do an opera. All we need is a theater. Let's go find a theater. <laughs> yeah.
Well, we need a space for the perfect show. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right. So what's our game plan? I I'll, I'll design a flyer for auditions. I buy ads. I'll figure out the technical stuff. I'll get the space ready. Me too. I'll help too. Me, Me too. too. So the flyer will say, we need ballerinas and opera singers and orchestra musicians. Hey, put on there that we need set design and the light operators and sound. It will say it all. The opera to end all operas. This will be the most perfect show anyone has ever seen. than the big producers. <laughs> How about To give us money? Um, to give us as much money. How much you need? To do the greatest show. Great 
show up at scene. Why do I keep you around? <laughs> wow, greatest show I've ever seen. So are you going to need some great dancers? Not dancers, ballerinas. Yeah, if you want to do big bucks, you got to do opera. Where's the orchestra? Lights. Costumes. Lions, tiger, bears, oh my! <laughs> Maybe later. Do we have anyone who can play piano? <laughs> is Tom Dapper playing Willow Tit Willow by Sullivan. We have Brian uh, Salmi singing Fire and Rain by James Taylor. Is that opera? <laughs> Just 
kissed yesterday morning Need you know where you're gone Suzanne plans to make me made to you When I walk out the door this morning And I walk this song I just can't remember who sent it to I see fire, I see rain Two sunny days where five foot never end. Low times where I could not find a friend, but I always see you again. Jessica Fair singing an aria from Magic Flute. Joe Splazashek playing the French horn. I love the French horn. Mama Dell, the French horn. Just do it already. Really? <laughs> love. Me. Uh, Boy horn. Greg Gerlach, who uh, calls himself a movement artist. Is that like ballerina? Auditions. Well, you just you didn't just walk down the street and invite people, did you? Well, <laughs> no money. Oh. oh! How can we do an opera without more people who can sing or dance? There are more singers and dancers in the next list. Let's keep going. Okay, what do we have to lose? Next, we have Deborah Olinsky singing a famous winter song.
Next, we have a dancer, Michael Becker, with his, interpreta with his interpretation of a classic winter song. <laughs> Enough of the winter songs. Now we have Kathy Lee singing Don't Sit Under the Apple Tree. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Just remember that I've been true to nobody else but you. So just be true to me. I'm so afraid that the plans we made underneath those moonlit skies will fade away and you're bound to start if the stars get in your eyes. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. You're my L-O-V-E. That's what we agreed, right? Right! Then we need to look for things uh, that uh, fit with opera. For example, our next act is Allison Folks and Eric Olson interpreting a poem. Poetry might fit with opera. Let's see. <coughs> Taki Sue, but was all he could do. And Sue said, Donald, I sure do like you, but was all he could do. And Sue asked Donald, do you like me too? But was all he could do. Goodbye then, Donald, I am leaving you, but. And she left, so she never knew that. I mean, I love you. Finally, some real ballerinas. Next is Angela Danberg, Misty Colby, Gretchen DeVries, and Ann Huddleston dancing to a portion of the Nutcracker Suite. Mm.
Why, this car is automatic. It's systematic. It's hydromatic. Why, it's greased lightning. Greased lightning. Imagine what is going to happen when we do an opera with these people. dressed in red, shakes jingle bells instead. <laughs> Instead, Frosty's coming to town. <laughs> we'll go to red carpet all to greet us with a shell. The only thing wrong with the tomato store instead. <laughs> Nightmare. So we'll just do some other show instead. 
What? Haven't you ever had a dream? I just can't drop it. I had a dream once. And what happened? It didn't happen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not giving up that easily. What was your dream? I want to dance with a man in a top hat. And it didn't happen? No, not yet. <laughs> That's the spirit, not yet. I'm hearing a lot of doom and gloom. What's that song? Gonna be a nightmare? We want to do an opera, and these people are not opera performers. Anyhow, who are you? One of those people who shows up to do a show. I'm a storyteller. Great, more inappropriate talent. <laughs> <laughs> not so fast. This just seems to be the ugly duckling part of the show. What? 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 ugly duckling part of the show? Yes, every sh show has this ugly duckling part where it doesn't look like you imagine. Come on, everybody. These people need to be reminded of the ugly duckling story. What's happening? What's happening? What's Once there was a group of ducklings. <laughs> they like to walk in formation and count off. <laughs> but one duck was not like the rest. Some called him an ugly duckling. He referred to think of himself as an uncommon duck, but when it came to count off. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> the ugly or mm, uncommon duck didn't walk like the others, sound like the others, but he just wanted to be like the other ducks. He really tried to do the count off. The ugly, oops, uncommon duck thought sadly to himself, none of my dreams will ever happen. He asked a group of people walking by, have you ever had a dream not come true? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah.
bad. What, you, what have you always wanted to be? A leather man. Well, why not? Tell us about the weather in New York. In New York, it's a big flood. <laughs> what about the weather in California? California, it's a big hurricane. Oh yeah? What about the weather in Minneapolis? It's a tornado. <laughs> What is it? I think he needs a dancing party. Oh my, he's wearing a top hat just like my dream. <laughs> Stepping out with my baby, I can't go wrong, cause I'm in right. It's for sure, and not for maybe, that I'm all dressed up tonight. Stepping out with my honey, can't be bad to feel so good. I never felt quite so sunny, and I keep on a knocking world. They'll be smooth sailing, cause I'm trimming my sails. In my top hat and my white tie and my tail. Oh, stepping out with my baby Can't go wrong, cause I'm right Ask me when will the day be The big day may be tonight like your dream? I think we have one more.
want to dance like Elvis. That's my dream, but I can't. I'm a duck. That sounds like another group I know who wants to put on a show, but can't because it's not an opera. So our ugly duckling really was an un uncommon duck after all. Remember how he danced when the other ducks were walking? Even when he knew that he had a dream, he just couldn't say what it was. Right. How does that story apply to us? Remember when you first wanted to do a show and why you wanted to do it? We could put on our own show. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we need something inspiring. Yeah, yeah, inspiring. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to do something inspiring. Sparling. So that was your original dream? Yeah, yeah. that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So how did the idea of opera happen? I thought opera was our only way to be inspiring. <laughs> oh. Then the auditions didn't fit our ideas. We got ugly. But the thing you think is ugly may maybe just be the early stages of being beautiful. Maybe just 
taking the risk is beautiful in itself. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I've been inspired. What? 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 Uh -huh. I got to dance and show taught robots. We, we helped people take risks. We helped people fulfill some dreams. And we had some good laughs. Are you saying this is it? What do you mean? Today, we created something inspiring. It really doesn't look like what I expected, but maybe dreams look different when they come true. Just like the uncommon duck, his beautiful swan was being Elvis. Maybe our beautiful swan is an opera. Maybe it's the inspiration we have right here. Are you saying we could just recreate what we did today and that would be our show? Do you realize the treasure you have right here? I think we have redefined perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs>